My name is Monique Billing. My name is Monique Billing. Oh, Billings. With Monique Billing. We love, baby. What's going on, guys? Welcome to this episode of Mo Money Mondays. Today, as you can see, I'm in the kitchen, chefing it up 2018 style. 2018 is all about healthiness, positivity, good energy. So let's get right into it. <laughs> So I'm making a chicken broccoli casserole and I prepare the chicken and the broccoli, um, have some cheese, some olive oil. It's a pretty healthy meal, 2018, trying to be healthy. So um, yeah, it doesn't take too long to make. It was under $20. Cool. So it's time to saute this chicken. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in the pan. I feel like I'm on like Food Network right now. I'm gonna let the chicken cook. In high school, my dad, he used to force my sister and I to cook like um, twice a week. We had to cook a meal and I hated it. Like I just was lazy and I didn't want to cook, but I'm glad that he made my sister and I like learn how to cook because now that I live in an apartment and I'm on my own, like it's nice knowing how to and I don't have to eat out all the time. Then I could be healthy. Definitely like soul food. That's I love soul food. Um, I really like trying new foods and like experimenting all different types of foods. Like I'll really try like anything. So, but all the traveling that I've been able to do in the last three years, um, I just love trying like different food. Like we went to um, the Bahamas. And I love the food in the Bahamas. It was really good. Went to Tokyo. The food was interesting, different. It's a blessing. I've, I've been to six different countries in the last um, three years. So I've been all over the globe. So, um, I had to just learn over the years, just experimenting, trial and error. But um, when I don't eat as good and don't get as much rest, I just don't perform as good as I'd like to. But when I take the time to like prepare my food and eat healthy and not always eat out, um, I do a really good job in my games and in practice and I just feel better. Even in the classroom, I stay awake longer and it's a good feeling just knowing that I prepared my meal and uh, yeah, I like it. When I was playing with uh, the USA team this past summer for our, one of our team uh, building activities, we had to uh, do a cooking challenge. And so we'd like break up in different groups and we had to cook a meal. And my uh, teammates who, who were on my team named me team captain. And we cooked some chicken just like this. We just sauteed some chicken. And I don't remember what else we made. There was only certain ingredients that we could use, but it was really fun. And it was cool because like, it was actually ironic because some of my teammates were like, I don't know how to cook. And so, I was helping him out and we made a simple and really good meal. And people um, tend to think that it's really hard to cook, it's like a challenge. It's not really a challenge, it can be time consuming, but it's really just following directions. That's what I've learned, it's just following directions. I really like experimenting with like just cooking different things. Like I made a chicken and waffle casserole before. It was, it was delicious. I like trying like making desserts and stuff. Cause I like to eat. So I feel like if you like to eat, you have to know how to cook. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put the broccoli in the water now. And it doesn't have to cook all the way in the water because it's going to cook in the oven. This is just uh, a chicken and broccoli casserole. 
Got some cheese in it. All right, the chicken looks about done. I'm really into making like casseroles and big dishes that'll like last me a few days so I don't have to cook like every single night because this is tiring like having to come home from practice and um, tutoring and whatever else we have to do as student athletes. So it's nice just to have something to come home to for a few days. You've got the best appetite. Flour, best appetite. I probably vote myself because I'm always trying new things and uh, experimenting with food. So I'd probably, probably say myself. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can add a teammate who is picky who turns her nose up to food, Japrice. Japrice does not like trying new foods. Need a little milk. And now it's like a go-to. It's super easy to make. It's under twenty dollars. My mom does, she loves cooking shows. So like if I'm home, um, that's usually what's on the TV. So I'll watch with her sometimes. And I can't, I can't ever imagine being on a show like that. Cause it's so, Top show. yeah, it's very competitive and very, their meals are just so exquisite. So I can't imagine being on a show like that, but I'd like to dream of, you know, doing something like that one day. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little more pepper. I always like my food to be like seasoned. So, it does smell a little good. Mm -hmm. I feel like being on one of those cooking shows would like add a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. I feel the pressure right now. <laughs> One final meal, probably chicken and waffles. I'm like an addict. Mm -hmm. And that might just be because I'm a Southern California native, but I don't know, there's something about chicken and waffles. I'm gonna add this Greek yogurt. Mix it all up. There's something about the mayo and the Greek yogurt together, I feel like makes this really good. I don't know why, but Every time I've made it, it's just all the flavors blend in really good together. Last step is cheese. All right, this casserole is going in the oven. Thank you. Right. Repping out here. Yeah, now that I won the football game. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, let's turn this off. This delicious casserole. Oh, it smells really good. So they say it's ready when like the cheese is like super melted, the sides are bubbly. That's how it's looking. So I think the mission is accomplished. I have a casserole here and it looks great. I'm ready to eat it. All right, so the casserole is ready to go. 20 minutes, under $20. Um, I think the mission has been accomplished. That camera's making it look like it could be on top chef for sure.